Hello, my name is Melissa Brown and this is Jennifer Anastasi, uh, Elite Social Management, doing our vlog for the day. So the topic for right now is going to be direct messages. A lot of times we get questions regarding direct messages. Are those things that are still good, to, are they acceptable to do? Does the community look bad? Uh, do they not like or well receive direct messages? So what is your take on direct messages? Is that something that should be completely banned from social media and people need to do it every single day, every single person that... I don't think that's possible when you're managing business accounts, period, end of story. You cannot keep up with the volume that way. Obviously, having a completely personalized connection with somebody mm -hmm. is the best ideal way. But ultimately, it, to me, and we're talking about direct messages on Twitter specifically, right? right? Specifically, yeah. So specifically on Twitter, when you send a direct message out to somebody to say, thanks for following me, there's a, there's a reason behind that. One is, I think it's just good proper etiquette. Mm -hmm. You need to acknowledge a new follower on Twitter. Um, of course, you're going to continue to engage them, get to know them, you know, and have those individual conversations. But just that initial, hey, thanks for following me, mm -hmm. I think is a good idea. There's a lot of people that use... Uh, a tweet rather than a direct message to do that and you can get in trouble uh, by doing so because on Twitter as we all know there's no profanity blockers there's no um, there's really no decorum when it comes to people's usernames and some of their usernames can be quite offensive depending on the industry you depending can be on the industry. very sensitive on what can be said exactly about. exactly so you might have users that follow you that have profanity in their yeah. username. And if you send out a public tweet to them thanking them for following you, mm -hmm. you've just put profanity out there into your Twitter stream right. that you put out. So what we prefer to do is to send a welcome message as a direct message that's private between you and that person. Mm -hmm. And obviously if that person has a name that might be offensive, it's not offensive to them. So it sounds like direct messages, as long as I send a direct message to acknowledge someone for following, mm -hmm. then that's acceptable. Um, but other forms of maybe using direct messages to replace a conversation, no. uh, we wouldn't suggest that. No, that. absolutely not. Uh, in fact, when we, went, we were at Social Media Day at the Orange County Register a couple months back, mm -hmm. and I actually asked this question of one of the panelists, you know, what do you do when you have a Twitter user who has offensive language in their Twitter handle, in their name? Mm -hmm. you know, and she had just gotten done saying, we respond to every person on Twitter, you know, and then when I asked that specific question, the answer was, oh, we don't respond at all. So right. some, some businesses and some brands take the stance of just not going to respond at all. What we say to do is have a private direct message welcoming them to your Twitter stream and then choose based on the industry you're in and the reputation you want your brand to have mm -hmm. whether or not that's appropriate to engage in. Or so not. then always, it sounds like it also comes back to what's your social media policy. Exactly. Because you're going to have different levels of tolerance, so to speak, mm -hmm. on what's acceptable that you can, you know, be right. a little more risque versus someone maybe in the healthcare industry that they have to be very, very specific and very conservative on there. Right. So. I mean, we don't want to introduce liability just by saying hello to somebody. Right. Exactly. Right. And, and doing the direct message is a way to reduce that liability. So it sounds like bottom line, direct messages to send out an acknowledgement is mm -hmm. acceptable. Using direct messages to continue your conversation offline is obviously antisocial. So that's right. where the balance is. So thank you, everybody.